Hello everyone! I'm continuing on from last week's video and we're going to be picking out some pages to add to this journal. If you'll recall last time we went through, added scrapbook cardstock uh, papers and folded them in different ways and decided which ones we wanted to put in each section. Now we're going to be adding special book pages and things that carry on the feeling of this prayer garden journal and we've got quite a task because these are the ones I showed you on film when I was introducing this series. These are all the ones I haven't shown you. <laughs> so we're going to go through and pick some pages out of these, particularly, um, well, there's this one in the Rose catalog. And then I had a few of these Ideals magazines, which I've identified lots of pictures, but now that I know what papers went in here and um, which which uh, images I was keeping from the original book, that will help us help me make better choices for what I would like to include now from those Ideals magazines. I just had marked out a lot of possibilities. So, <laughs> we've got a big task ahead of us today. All right, so that is what we are working on today. And... Get yourselves ready if you want to get comfy or get crafty, get yourselves ready to go. We'll be right back after this. Okay, let's start with the books that I had already picked out and um, identified as books that I wanted to use in this. I don't think I showed you these last time. And I have this one as well that I really, really like. It has old black and white photos and devotionals and stuff in it. Um, so these had been sitting on my shelf and uh, I knew I wanted to use these. And then these two I showed you last week. So we'll start with those. One thing I did want to point out, however, I only have one sheet of this paper and since I don't really know where it came from, I, don't, I can't get more. I had talked about lining the cover inside cover here with this one I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame there okay but these pages as we were measuring them were six inches wide and I thought oh six inches will be fine I can use it on the front and back however this piece right here is actually seven and a half inches wide so I am gonna go ahead and use this on the inside cover but what I will have to do Probably do it on the back. I may change my mind and do it on the front. But the four and a half inches wide that are left, because 12 minus seven and a half is four and a half, if my math is right. I think it is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a, some kind of a pocket or something. Now it may or may not end up being this piece. I may end up with a scrap, um, one of the other sides. In fact, I could use this piece, couldn't I? That would be really pretty. So anyway, I, I think I'll take the leftover piece from this to, to paste down, but then I'll need to put some kind of pocket or something over it. I think a pocket would be the best way to finish piecing that out. Uh, it would be something like this. But anyway, that's, that's what I realized. That does mean, however, I sacrificed this. So if I find a different one that would work just as well, uh, you know, this is only single-sided, and I do like it, but I'd have to put something here to break up the two patterns visually. So we'll just see, but I'm going to have to put a pocket there is, is what I'm thinking. So I thought I'd point that out. Now let's go through, and since I have seven sections, I figure I can put ten sheets in each section, so that'll give me roughly 70 pages, not counting this one. And I could put another one right on top of that. Now I'm using this book. I have a couple copies, but this is the one that's been taken apart. In fact, I should just go ahead and pull that whole thing out of there. The other one has not been taken apart yet, but I liked it so much when I found it, I decided to get another one. So this, this uh, artist, this artist here, Sandy Linum Clo or Clough, I don't know how to say it. I'm not sure which way is the correct way. Ah, 
There we go. She does all kinds of paintings, and my mom had one by her hanging in her house that was tea, uh, tea theme, and I just love her artwork. So I went looking to see if I could find any books by her, and then I found this one on eBay. So Sandy Lynam Clo or Clough, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And it looks like I got mine from Thrift Books. So it's been a while, but I suspect they're still out there somewhere. I'm going to cover this back up so I don't injure myself on accident. Safety first. But I think um, pages from this are really pretty. And I think there might just be something in here that we would really like. And since it's a prayer theme, there are a lot of prayers in here. Prayers to Soothe Your Soul. That's the title. Oh, here's another thing about kindness. Kind words are the... The something. Music of the world. Oh, well, that's neat. We had that other excerpt we read last week about kind words, and I'm going to put that page in here as well. So that might be a nice tie-in, but I was kind of looking for color. But if I put them together, like this... Maybe on this side, you'd have this. No, I don't need the yellow because that wouldn't show. I would have this, and then I would have this piece down here, not this page. I guess we should just take them apart. And this has the pretty yellow, though. So it would look like this when I get it into the book. I kind of wanted the yellow to go with the yellow. Tie in over here. It might not work right there, but I do like that one. And I also like this one, Promises. So what's the other page? 22. Let's see if I still have page 22, because oh I got a cardinal. Ha! Huh. Cardinal journal. I don't have much saved for it yet, but I will get there. Ah, here we go. The greatest attribute of heaven is mercy. Ooh. Wow, I like that. And you know, if I take off these two, I can use them together if I want. Oh, these sunflowers. If I'd known about that, I could have used them in my Ukraine journals last year, but I didn't know. Okay, but that's really neat. I love those colors. All right, so we have two possibilities there. And as we go through, we will decide. We'll decide where we want to place them. This one, Carolyn Shores Wright. It's called In the Shelter of His Wings. Also beautiful artwork. And I think this was a recommended when I was hunting for the other book, so. Oh, you look at all these beautiful little hummingbirds. Oh, quote by Tozier. Nice. Okay. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. Goodness. So many good things. Okay, here's one. This is just pretty. And if I want to lay something on top of this, I'd like it to be coordinating. Or if I have it right back here. I would like it to coordinate color-wise. It would be really cute on here, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm gonna flip from the back to the front because it's easier. Ooh, because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. Oh, that's so perfect for Mimi. Ooh, I really like that. Where would we put that? So it could either go on top of this beautiful page, it can go in between, it could go on top of this. The, something like this that is so colorful would be really pretty in front of, um, in front of some black and whites. But like, look at this, because you are my help. Ooh, I like that. Okay, we're gonna take this one out. And 
I really think that would look really neat on top of there or on top of there. So when I open it, yeah, we're gonna do that. So I need to trim this up and punch some holes. So I'm gonna lay that there. And this one could use some color right there, but this is kind of plain. That isn't it. <laughs> Don't really like that. Yeah, no, not gonna work there. Something that would just stand out. Gosh, these are cute little birdies. Hmm. That's a nice one. Isn't that pretty? If I had that on that side, and this on this side, maybe? Or maybe we'll move it over here. I don't like him. Okay. I always reserve the right to change my mind and move things around <laughs> at the last hour. Nothing wrong with that. Now, do I have those in back-to-back -back sections? That is a really good question. I probably do. I do. So maybe we want to move him further this way. Although it would be nice to find something to brighten up that, that white, those white flowers. How about this? Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, okay, let's put that there. Okay. Didn't find anything for the first page or the second page. So, let's put these two aside. We're still looking for a place for those guys. Let's go over here. Let's look through here. Okay, I love these because they have the devotional and the big beautiful flowers. But it is black and white. So I would want to put it between two colorful pages. I just found this at the thrift store. Ooh, that would be a nice one for secret garden, wouldn't it? And hold on to that. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty too. Wow. Look how up close, how detailed all that is. one's pretty too. Okay, I like that one. I like this one and this one. Just gotta find something that says Mimi. This one might, what does it say on this side? Faith as a paradox. I don't have a paper clip over there, but I'm gonna clip those. Okay, so let's find one that has some color between the you know, between two pages that are very colorful. So we could do like that. That's a possibility. And, see I just put that one there. That's really pretty. Maybe. This had two pages with color. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I'm gonna have to cover up down here where he put lots of lovely highlighting, underlining. Larry Larison. <laughs> Why, Larry? Okay, so I'm gonna set that there. And this one I'm gonna commit to, so let's punch the holes. And get it centered. Having a nice relaxing Saturday today. I tell you what, we've had a lot of 
social engagements lately. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? That would look really cool right here, though, even though that's black and white. That would look kind of cool there, wouldn't it? Let's try that. Um, yeah, we've had people in town that don't normally come to town, so we got to go to dinner a couple different times. One was at a house, so they made dinner, and the other was at a restaurant, and then, um, had a niece that came to town to get baptized, so we went and watched that one Sunday. And then we got together on a different Sunday with some other friends that we hadn't seen for a while. I know I'm forgetting a few things, and then in there, going to help Camille a lot with her classroom. So yeah, I just, oh, our small group had a little summertime meetup thing. I am, I'm gonna commit to this. Anyway, so, just had a lot. <laughs> some of them were on the same days. It's nice to just sit here and work on this and catch up on some things around the house. I mean, like, I don't want my whole life to be housework, but once in a while, it's nice to stay home and be domestic and do those things. Here we go. I like that. I like that. I'm going to keep the torn edge because I like that. And let's go back here and commit. I'm going to commit, but I do need to tear that one off, so... I can use my deckle edge trimmer. I suppose I could use my deckle scissors, but my deckle edge ruler, not trimmer. It's a ruler. There we go. Oh, that's pretty, okay, so. Let's put that one a little bit further down. I do like to break up, up above and down below on the pages so that the bulk is distributed from top to bottom as much as possible. So if I put something in one spot higher, I'll try to make it opposite by putting it in one spot lower. Of course, you have to remember that the pockets are usually all towards the bottom. So more things towards the top is a good way to go. So maybe I will. Maybe I'll put that one up top too because following my own advice, that will fit. Isn't that pretty? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna take out this one and save it for the other journal, the um, Secret Garden one. Which I haven't worked on yet because I'm just doing these back to back so that we can keep moving and I can keep my train of thought going. Okay, so I got those. Oh, I didn't do this one yet. What am I thinking? Okay, this is so pretty. <sighs> All right, getting up the courage to into it but momentary light affliction <laughs> it only hurts for a minute kind of like getting rid of things that you know you need to get rid of it only hurts for a minute while well, you put it in the donate pile or the trash and then you move on and you forget about it why are we like that so crazy okay so there's that all right so maybe some of these will work better for up here. These are cute. You know what? Those other little journals I'm working on with the um, with the scraps and stuff, these would be cute to put in there as pages. Okay, I was looking at this yellow. Hmm, chicory. I had no idea what chicory looks like. I wonder if she has any tulips. Oh, that would be pretty, wouldn't it? Evening primrose. Ooh, this one has a bumblebee. A pretty one. I think that's a bee. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a creepy crawly. Let's see. I don't want to waste too much time because we have a lot of stuff to go through. Gosh, this is so beautiful. <gasps> So pretty. That one would be nice right here too, wouldn't it? The jonquils. Oh, with the king cup. Oh, that would work. Well, maybe not. It's so pretty and soft and this is so realistic and bright, but it could work on that other page. Oh, it looks like I've taken out signature stitches. And Lily of the Valley. So let's Put these here and then it'll be folded. 
hold it up. That's pretty. Okay. That will look nice. we should be cons Ooh, that's right she did do a to z didn't she so i guess t would be tulip tulip that's pretty that's a really pretty tulip oh they're so pretty i hate to use them <laughs> wrong wrong answer would that be too many of the little ones i could put this one like right here and tuck it inside Butterflies are gorgeous. Let's see if I can snip. So did I already say this? I think I did. I can probably put like 10 pages per section, excepting the very beginning there. I wouldn't wouldn't put 10 pages there. Hey, you're supposed to tear out when I did that. Oh. We have a little bit of an overcast day. This is um, runoff from runoff, you know, uh, fallout, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. From the hurricane, Hurricane Hillary. I can't believe it's, well, it's the moisture, some moisture from that coming up and meeting moisture coming down from uh, the Pacific Ocean. And so it's going to give us maybe some rain showers. I think I want that one down there. Or do I want it in the middle? Kind of like it in the middle. Okay, middle. Middle it is. So I like to have these little surprises tucked in. So yeah, it says we're going to maybe get big rainstorms tomorrow and Monday. You're gonna see this after it's all over. I'll let you know if I drown or not. I doubt it, I doubt I will. But it is interesting that it can come all the way up, you know, from that far south, from the Gulf. I would not have thought that possible. Okay, so I don't wanna to get too carried away with the little pages, cause I got lots of big pages to put in. Okay, those go aside, and then God's world makes me feel so little. I like to work from back to front and front to back sometimes. I don't even know. I must have found this at a thrift store. It's from Eagle Christian. <laughs> Cute. I like the blue, but I don't feel like there's a lot of blue in this book. This would be really pretty with some of those little golden books. Hmm. That's pretty. a lot of yellow in it, isn't it? I only want to do one page, so I'm trying to find one that that looks like it would work the best. Maybe this one? But I like this little guy. Of course, I don't want the sleeping cat on the other side. This one's kind of cute, too. And this one's really cute. And it has the kitties on the other side with the flowers. Okay, I like that one and that one. Or where he's catching the little, little caterpillar. That one has a bunny. There he is catching the caterpillar. Oh, that one's so cute too though. so sweet. 
gracious. Well, let's figure out where we might put it. And I might fold it over. Like, this would look really pretty right here, wouldn't it? Here we go. <laughs> Turn it however I want too. That'd be pretty. Let's center. No, it won't. So let's go more towards the top with that. It doesn't really have the cute words, but it has pretty pictures. that in and then if there's a place for this one I'd like that one too Let's see that would be nice again between two pages that are black and white maybe I just did that one. glue that. <laughs> I will, I will, I promise. Here we go. That would work, wouldn't it? Okay, and then we'll start looking at those ideals pages because, and then I know I want a couple from this one for sure. I have an upcoming, upcoming video where I do a small book haul and thrift haul kind of thing and I show you that one in there but you're gonna see it here too hmm I got five out of that interesting I didn't expect to guess I lined it up just right now do I want it to fold this way I kind of want it to fold this way so that you see the whole uh, thought on this page Super cute. Okay. Now. Oh, golly. So, so many choices. And then the other thing I have is this. This. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's some pages I picked out. I stuck them in here because it was easier to carry. I have these Helen Steiner Rice pages. I have this black and white one. I had gardening pages. These may not make it in because it might get too fat. And I had plain like, accounting paper and that sort of thing. Oh, this is from a different poem book, book of poetry. There's that one. Oh, yes, and that one. These were from a um, garden book of all kinds of things. So this is one of those scrapbooks that you find in the tropics and I like the paper the paper has a really cool texture now I probably should have just taken this apart but I didn't I just brought it to the craft room and I'm not going to spend hours sitting here trying to take it apart so I'll probably just tear a page out but I thought this would be really cool for writing on and then um this is the end paper, it came undone here, and it feels a little, um, not really sticky, but like things might stick to it. So, woo, look at that. <laughs> now I got this idea from Margaret at Seven Plaza. I think it's a really good idea because it's that textured paper, kind of like that straw paper that Rachel at Roxy Creations uses. She has access to it in Italy. I don't live in Italy. Oh, interesting. Wow. Let's pull all these out. And we'll cut down a couple of these to put in. 
I think it'd make really cool writing space. And I don't think it'll matter too much that there are holes where the pictures are supposed to go. Huh. Interesting. I mean, I see them from time to time, but I've never thought of, you know, at the time that I was really seeing a lot of them, I wasn't doing junk journals, so I never really thought of um, trying to use the paper. Nifty. And this is just like a very lightweight cardstock. It almost looks like handmade paper. So I make like really cool pockets or something, you know? You could still write on it both ways, but some of the gumminess from the glue may interfere. So, let's see. Let's, let's just cut down a couple. And since we know we want them six inches wide, that's easy. Okay, that goes in my other journal. Oops, sorry. Sorry for the smacking. Let's see, six inches. Goes that way. By nine and a half. So we'll cut a little off the top, a little off the bottom. I'll have to cut more for the other journal. I really thought this would be so neat to get in there. I'm gonna go just under nine and a half by like a sixteenth of an inch because as we'll recall, That was just a hair too long. Nine and a half is like that. But I think I make really cool writing space. And I can't forget my other papers that I had, the um, handmade paper, my faux handmade paper. Look at that. We have a spot ready to go. Maybe I should put one up here. Hmm, I like that. Look at me making the quick decisions today. Pretty cool. So that's really the temptation, right? Is to overdo. Okay, secret garden. That says secret garden to me, so I'll put that in the other one. I think I really want this one. And Tomorrow and always, he is there. Okay, I'm gonna do these two. Set those aside. Oh, I wanted this one. It said morning prayer and a faith that smiles and we could give it a border. Okay. So let's do least four of these and let's see what I picked out okay oh I had that sweet little girl oh, you're adorable had this one peace of mind and I picked out kind of like some color oh face another beautiful flower arrangement hmm well, that looks a lot like the rose page that was at the front of one of these sections. So I'm gonna say no on that one. Okay. So these are the Easter ideals and trying to um, stick with the theme, of course, of uh, prayer, prayer garden. Okay, Mother's Day. All right, well, here's this one. It's kind of pretty. Oh, look, and from, from my garden journal. Too bad you won't get to read the whole story. Oh, this sweet little girl watering the flowers. Oops, did I skip one? No. Um, 
this one was really pretty. It's not as gardeny. Oh, this one for sure. Okay, I know I want this one. Yay, I made a decision. <laughs> okay. Here's one. Okay, where's my little girl? Okay, I might, I might use her. These are Valentine, but, oh yeah. Well, that's pretty. Oh yeah. Now there's not a lot of red in this one, but I do like the color of that. Oh, and then there's this rose. Again, that could go in the roses section if we wanted it to. And then there was this one. She actually had a couple of um, hurricane lamps that took the lamp oil. And when they were downsizing and moving out of their house, she gave Camille one, and then I remember it spilled oil everywhere. <laughs> but she was the kind of lady who had hurricane lamps. I really like these. It's just that um, it's so much like that other page with the rose on it already. I like this one better, okay. Another decision made, yay me. Okay. There's another one of those hurricane lamps. So this one's in brown. That's the only reason I picked it. Has a dried rose, has the hurricane lamp remembering. I know it says Happy Valentine's Day, but All right. let's go back and I just did this one, right? Yeah. Let's go back and look at our little girls again. Oh my goodness, look at that. That'd make a really beautiful journal cover, wouldn't it? I'm pr I'm fond of this little one. Watering her plants. I'll have to go back and pick some for the other one. <laughs> okay, so let's stick with those for now because I don't want to get too carried away. Or we'll have this journal so full of stuff we won't know what to do. And then I have this one. This one is poem, so we can dress up the edge if we want. Let me take these stickies off now. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Now, this is this book, and it is so beautiful. It kept coming up in the recommendeds as I was looking for Edith Holden and some of the other ones that I also show you in that video. Okay, that's got sticky stuff on it. I need to put something plastic over that for now so it won't keep sticking. There we go. Isn't this beautiful? So this has signatures, so I am going to cut right in the middle. See if I can get under there okay without gouging the other side. Oh, I should be using my seam ripper. That's what I need. Now she remembers it. I think it's out, so I'll get that on the next one. Yeah. Uh, we are going to be cutting these apart, so although I don't have to, do I? Let's see if we have any with roses. Ooh, that's pretty. Be pretty in a nature or autumn journal. Look, and now they're changing up the artwork. Ooh. <laughs> I just get so excited. Oh, the pretty pictures. I wonder if they have any roses. It's like a wild rose. Ooh, another pretty autumn one. Oh, I'm guessing it's going through the seasons. Well, there's mushrooms, but then there's poppies, so maybe not. Maybe it's 
not, oh, that's pretty too, isn't it? What's, is there writing space on the back side? Oh, there is. Oh, I like that. I would really like to see a rose. Maybe that's, maybe that was just too cliche for this book. Oh, honeysuckle. Oh, that one's pretty too. The throstle. I don't know what a throstle is. Okay, I like that one. So I'll get out my little, get out my little bookmarks again. This would be cool in collage, wouldn't it? What happened to the other two that I just had? I, oh, they're still in there. I didn't take them out, silly me. some roses. Come on. There's those beautiful violets. Gorgeous. <laughs> They're going to deny me my roses. Well, okay then. So let's figure out where these, where's the center of the signature? Right. Oh. Is it right there? That'd be super handy if it was. I think it's right here. Is that it? No. Yes. <laughs> you can barely see the stitches. This may be a hard one to do. See the ripper. A very old seam ripper from the 70s. You can tell because it's orange. Okay, that's not... It's having trouble getting under there. I had a secret for this. What was it? I forget. <laughs> I told it to you guys. I told you my secret. Now I can't remember it. Okay, we're going to try. But that wasn't the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted. There we go. Oh, yeah. So if I keep this together, I can have this one, which I also liked, and this one. I wish I could fold it so that the blank didn't come first. See how this one, the blank does not come first, it comes second. But I don't think that's gonna be possible. But you know what that means? It means we can decorate it. And then the other one, now I've lost it, right there. Gosh, that's really pretty too. Okay, you are at the center. And you also have We got that cute little grasshopper too. Isn't that adorable? Okay, one, two, three. Lots of bee pages. This will go really pretty with the Edith Holden pages. So that is Country Lover's Notebook by Juliet Clark. And it's gorge, gorgeous. Okay, so I pulled three. I may only end up using two. So we had the one, two, three, four, five, six. In truth, I'm not sure how well that one's gonna go. But it might. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, let's see, let's look at these again. So this is more Helen Steiner Rice, but it had different pages. So maybe I'll use this one instead because this has more of the colors I want. I'll set that over there. And I did like this one and it talks about prayer. Prayers can't be answered unless they're prayed. So let me hold up on this one as well. Ouch, hurt my thumb. I've got lots of things in here I'm supposed to be reading to you guys too. I wanted some more with color. So prayers are the stairs to God. Oh, I like that. Not a lot of color on it. 
This is, these right here are ones that I selected to be read. So we'll probably read one today. On the wings of prayer, give me a pretty color. Ooh, there we go. On the wings of prayer. It's one I picked for this journal and one I wanted to read. Okay. Let's see if I can get it out there without tearing the page up. And it's got the green. That's cool. What's this? Thank you guys for giving me a chance to just talk out loud to myself all the time. <laughs> this has part of Psalm 23 on the back. I don't know. I have in mind a shepherd journal. Psalm 23 journal, so I don't know that I want to use that just yet. And in here, what did we picked out? Because this had the roses theme. Mm. Pretty. So is that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I liked that one. I liked that one for cottage garden or secret garden. Oh, and it has a pretty picture on both sides. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, yes. It's a little glossy, but so are the pages in this. In these binders, they're a little glossy as well. So that's a good one. Oh, yes. I wanted to use that one too. And look, it's got a partial flower arrangement on the other side. Okay, there's that. See, I have to be careful because it's so easy to get carried away. This is in here. And I was thinking about including it in the book, so we'll see. And also, this page, this flyleaf. I was thinking about using that as a page. We have the papers. So maybe I don't have to. This book I actually went through and tore out a few pages. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. If I had used the little girl, I probably would have included this because of the straw hat. I'm going to say no for now. I might do it in the other one. We'll see. Now, I didn't know if there was anything in here or not. Poppies. These are two gold. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Lilacs. Hmm, you know? This in and of itself could be a page, couldn't it? Oh, ooh, that's pretty. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to remember that. Let me keep looking. Let me keep looking. Hands. More gold. Mm, bachelor buttons. Love those. Daisies and bachelor buttons. Big, beautiful pictures. Ooh, ranunculus. I love ranunculus. But so far, most of these are in the wrong color scheme. Daisies and stock. That might, that might work. Pink, yellow, and blue. That's nice. Now, the cool thing about these is that you can take um, these little pictures. I wouldn't take that one because that's creepy. Um, and cut them out and make little embellishments or postage stamp kind of thingies. Okay, so there's two possibilities in here. And then this one was all, um, all florals being painted on porcelain. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty. These are prettier. This is more like what I'm putting in there. This looks like the really old porcelain from the 1800s. We have some. That was Tom's grandparents. And also I tried to get rid of some. Um, so I had to research it. It was really hard to find. But the old German and Bavarian porcelain from the late 1800s early 1900s. They got married in 1900. And so 
all of their items that I'm pretty sure they got for their wedding were kind of crossover from the two styles. From in, f the more Victorian and soft, beautiful florals into the uh, Art Nouveau. And so it's really interesting because we had some really pretty, very antique looking things. A lot of them with the green background. <laughs> Not my favorite. I found out what a celery dish was. Yeah, it was very educational. So I sold a few, kept a few, but that's what that looks like. Okay, I like this one. Paint in a dust-free room. Yes, that sounds like good advice. Okay, some of these pages were pretty thick, so I didn't... This can almost be two pages. It might... Oh, wow. So gorgeous. Maybe I should... Just cut it down. I know, it seems like a waste. But actually, I can get most of it if I do it right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be just, that would be fine. Okay, I'm gonna make little pencil marks. I hope that's on there straight. You guys can tell me, because I can't see that far away. <laughs> it's far away from me on the other end. Yeah, I like this one the best, so we'll not worry about those right now. Didn't find anywhere for these guys. It's a disappointment. So I'm just gonna set aside all the ones so far that are not quite right. And then we'll trim this bad boy. And then we're gonna have to wrap it up. Look at that, how pretty. Lucky, so pretty. And then we can just cover the back, but this is a nice thick paper too, so. Um, so it will support the weight of something on the back. Gosh, my ears are plugging up, I'm sorry. All of a sudden, I've been noticing, so I've been taking raw natural honey from my area to help with hay fever. It's really helped, but then on these days where there's smoke in the air from fires, we've got fires in Oregon, Canada, and Central Idaho, all attacking my nostrils today. Uh, so I took an allergy pill, and I've noticed over the last couple days as I've been doing this that my ears plug up when I take the allergy pill, and I had not realized that before. All right, so you guys wanna help me place for a minute? to deny you the the uh, opportunity mm. I like that I'm gonna do it I like that these add the writing space but they also add the beautiful decoration gosh so pretty okay what I'm gonna do is turn these over temporarily so I can see what's on the back this one this one's fine. And then that way as I'm flipping through, I can figure out what to put where. And we put him in there. These guys with that. And you know what else would look really nice with that? Is this one. Isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And that is a descriptor of July. So... Should I put it here because of the way it goes? I might, I might do that, okay? I think just for ease of everything, wait a sec. Wait a second. Oh, we might just fold over a little bit so we don't lose anything. So I'll just put the mark right here. It's trying to cloud up out there. Huh, interesting. <laughs> I went out earlier, I'm like, wow, it feels so cool out here. 
Then I looked at my phone to see the temperature. It was 81, and then I thought, it's a sad day when 81 feels cool. <laughs> and we're getting to the end of the year. And the thing about the cloud cover is that while it helps during the day so it doesn't get so hot, it traps all the heat overnight, and then it stays hot overnight. It's a mixed blessing. Now I still have um, I still have the pages that I showed you the other day, and I have the ones with my faux handmade paper and um, the envelopes that I've gotten and things like that that I still have to place. So those will be something else I have to remember. Let's get our little get our little sweeties done here. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. And yes. Let's at least get these three done. I guess I need to go through and figure out where I need to put some more pretty pages from the books. Who does not have book pages yet? Because I know there are some. <laughs> okay, that little guy is there, although this would be a really nice place. Be a really nice place for this one, wouldn't it? Mm. Hmm. I'm gonna set that there for the moment. We'll think about that. Okay, this one doesn't have any, so. I know these aren't roses. I feel like this is what we want here. Oh look, and then the purple, the pink hollyhocks and this. Okay, so I center the hollyhocks. What will I get? Or should I just center these and put the hollyhocks over there? Yes. That's what we'll do. Okay, so now if it goes this way, it's gonna go on that way on the back side. Oh, that's good because you know what? Then it, <laughs> they picked the border to go with the hollyhocks, but it's gonna get trimmed off. I can just trim it along this dark raspberry color and that will be fine. That would be a pretty page border, wouldn't it? I'm gonna save that one. Only because it has pretty flowers on the other side. Oh, I also forgot to tell you in my list of fun things we've been doing lately, we got invited to go to a baseball game. So we went with uh, my son-in-law's parents. They had extra tickets to the baseball game. And actually, we were in a really good spot. We were down right on the other side of the net, right opposite of the pitcher's mound. It was so awesome. And I mean, I'm not a big baseball fan, but oh, well look how I did that. That wasn't quite, I guess I didn't pay attention to the, I thought I, I thought I measured that so that I knew that that wouldn't happen. Guess not. Huh. Okay, well, it'll still work. I just, for some reason, thought that was the full length of this. I'm sure when I watch back the video, I'll figure out what I did wrong. You guys probably already caught it, because you're so smart that way. And the other day, I guess, because of all this running around, it was my, the first day at home after spending all the time with Camille in her classroom, getting stuff set up in the library there, and uh, <laughs> I was like, I need a nap, because I had gone grocery shopping and stuff. Gone to three, I got Costco and Walmart and the Winco grocery store. I was like, I need a little nap. So I laid down and three hours later, I woke up. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Yes, my little girl. Oh, yes, perfect. 
Okay, this time we're gonna actually measure you correctly. All right. She's just the sweetest. Oh, you are too cute. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little of the this bottom part off here. And then I've got to be done, unfortunately, because it's that time, folks. I'll have to place the rest of these off camera and then work in the other book off camera and then, and then we'll come back and show you what we've got. Now, do I wanna fold this over? I think I do. So I'm just gonna trim the edges there. Because where we can fold over, I think it's a really great idea. Okay, where's your mark? Nine and a half, I suppose I could measure, but I don't have the thing open. Hold on, I gotta get this close to my face so I can see. Right there. Nice. So I took my glasses off so I could see, but then I couldn't see. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Okay, sweet girl. Amazing how all these things just flow together. Just pick out all the things you like. That's I think that's what I just really love about this craft, is because you have an idea, but then it can go just about any way, any direction. You never know what's gonna happen. You know, I really like this set. That's so cute. Maybe you should go in the roses section. Was I just in the roses section? It's the only one that kind of lines up with its actual, actual delineation. Yes, I was. I'm gonna move you. Sorry, bud. I'm gonna move you. And start trimming. <laughs> A garden in New Jersey. Could you get? Any less specific. Okay. Oh, that's right, I have both. Okay, so I do want that side to line up. It's gonna have a rough edge, so I think I would like to trim that one. Just for the ease of putting in the holes. And then, I don't know if this is nine and a half or not, I'm just kinda winging it here. Oh my goodness, look at me. <laughs> Couldn't have done that on purpose, even if I wanted to. Look at that. It's the nine and a half measurement, so I will trim the easiest bit because there's a little border showing right there. Get rid of that white edge. Okay. We have had a full session today, guys. What are your thoughts, your comments, your opinions, your insights, your hints, your tips and tricks. Tell me, tell me, I wanna know. I'm doing a lot of folding over. Now, I think, wherever in the world I just was to try to put that other one away. Yeah, right here. You know. Could I just do that? Or is that too conflicting? It conflicts. Okay, let's do it here. That's where I was. That'll work. I could just go on and on, but it would be an incredibly long video, and you guys would be bored out of your skulls. So we don't want that. We want you to return because you've had a happy time. So we'll cut it short right here. Where is my Helen Steiner Rice poem I was going to read? On the Wings of Prayer by Helen Steiner Rice. Just close your eyes and open your heart and feel your worries and cares depart. Just yield yourself to the Father above and, and let him hold you secure in his love. 
for life on earth grows more involved with endless problems that can't be solved, but God only asks us to do our best. Then he will take over and finish the rest. So when you are tired, discouraged, and blue, there's always one door that is open to you, and that is the door to the house of prayer. And you'll find God waiting to meet you there, and the house of prayer is no farther away than the quiet spot where you kneel and pray. For the heart is a temple when God is there, as we place ourselves in his loving care, and he hears every prayer and answers each one when we pray in his name, thy will be done. And the burdens that seemed too heavy to bear are lifted away on the wings of prayer. And there's a verse at the bottom. Blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates. He's alert. He's ready. Ready for action. I really enjoy how much Helen Steiner Rice can condense a truth and put it in a short bit of poetry. She... She's amazing, or was amazing. I, I think she's passed away now, but her her poetry is so good at highlighting the issue and then presenting the solution and and just condensing it down to problem solution and it and she just does it such a beautiful way with her words. So I want you guys to think about prayer, how easy it is to just pray wherever you are. You don't have to wear special equipment. You don't have to be dressed, really. You don't have to be in a certain location. You know, God is right there. You don't, you don't need to send your prayers through another person or another entity. He's hearing you and he's right there. He hears your heart, even when you don't have words, even if you don't have the right words, just pray and say, I don't know what to say, Lord, but this, this is what's troubling me today, or I don't know what to say, Lord, but I'm just blown away by your magnificence today and how beautiful everything is. You know, always, always remember to praise him and, and to give him, just to give back a little bit, not always asking and taking, but giving, giving, because God wants relationship and relationships are two ways. So just remember prayer is there. Prayer is available to you any time of the day and night even if you're sitting in a line at the grocery store and you've got 10 minutes to kill because the people ahead of you have thousands of groceries to load on the belt, take a minute and pray. Sitting at the stoplight, take a minute and pray. It's amazing. It's amazing what will happen. So thank you guys for listening and joining me today. And I suspect this was well over an hour and I do apologize, but I might be able to speed up a little bit of the parts in there where I was trimming and stuff and, and get it shorter. So thanks for joining me. Next time I hope to have all the pages in and then we can work on placing ephemera or making ephemera or whatever it is we need to do. Okay, until next time, folks, be inspired. Do something creative today. I'll be thinking of you all week, and I hope you'll think of me too. Talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye now. Thank you.